Hello everyone, welcome again to a new video. What to do if ACT is not detected in BIOS? In this video, we will show you how to solve this problem. So let's dive into the video. Fix number 1. Run hardware and device troubleshooter. First right click on the start menu and select Windows Partial Admin. And then click on yes. And then you have to type the following command. And hit the enter. Then hardware and device troubleshooter will appear on the screen. And then you have to click on next. It may take time to detect your problems. After a while, the process will recommend the possible fix. Either you can apply it or skip it. I will tell you to choose the skip this fix. Finally, the troubleshooter will give the details about the problem finding. In the end, you can follow the direction as the findings. Fix number 2. Update device driver. So right click on the start menu and select device manager. Then you have to find these drives and expand it. Then right click on it and then click on update driver. Then you have to choose search automatically for drivers. If the error still appears, you will follow the other fixes. Fix number 3. Install latest driver update directly. When you are not able to update the device driver through the Windows system, you need to try it directly from the manufacturer's website. To do so, you need to go to the official websites of your SSD manufacturer, then search for the available update file of the model you use. Then download the update file and install it. If it doesn't detect SSD, you will have two more options to resolve this issue. Fix number 4. Resolve faulty hardware. The reason for occurring the error can be hardware fault. To be sure that you face the error for so, you need to check the hardware fault by applying two ways. Number 1. You need to plug the SSD in another port and check whether the BIOS can detect SSD or not. If it does, the fault remains in the SSD slot, but if it still does not able to detect, you need to check the second way. Number 2. Unplug the SSD first. Then set an alternate SDD in the same slot with the same SATA cable. If you got SDD working, the problem remains on the SSD. In this case, you have to take expert support to fix SSD or change it with a new one. But if the fix is not able to identify the reason, you will have to follow the next Fix number 5. Format SSD drive. When none other fixes help you to get rid of the error, you have to format the SSD drive. To do so, right click on the start menu and select disk management. From here, you have to click on the blank space of the SSD drive box. Then click on the format from the appeared context menu. Consequently, the SSD will be formatted. Hopefully, BIOS will detect the SSD at the end. That's all for today. If you have found this video helpful, then please don't forget to like and do subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button icon to never miss any update.